what's up welcome back today in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys um, NDS for iOS or GBA for iOS and there's been everybody saying that you have to set your devices date back in order to get this to work on new phones or it won't work and I'm here to tell you guys today that that is actually not true I have a little trick that I found out here I don't know if anybody else knows about it it's just something I was playing around with and happened to find by mistake now just to show you my device's date is on September 29th on Sunday here and this will probably be up after midnight so it'll be around September 30th before the video is up this is the iPhone 5s it's got the fingerprint scanner here and it's got the dual LED flash on the back now just to show you guys that this does work I'll go ahead and open up NDS4 iOS open up Pokemon Soul Silver here and it is running at 60 frames per second and it runs really well it doesn't crash or anything like that so I'm just going to show you guys how to do this now you will have to repeat these steps every time that you completely reboot your device which isn't a huge thing because most people actually don't reboot their device unless it dies so I'm just going to go ahead and reboot it and show you exactly how to get this thing running without having to set your device's date back now I'm also going to have um, videos coming up real soon of an unboxing, a full in-depth review of the iPhone 5S and a comparison of the iPhone 5 so go ahead and stay tuned for those because they will be out real shortly uh, this month has been a really busy month for me guys I'm sorry I haven't posted many videos but I'm getting back on a regular schedule and I've got a lot of cool new things to show you guys now not everything's going to be as good as the GBA for iOS because that kind of stuff doesn't come out every day and I just can't have that stuff magically pop up whenever I want it to although I wish I could it just doesn't work that way so I'm going to do my best to bring the best stuff for you guys until a jailbreak is out to get your devices the most customized and the best way possible so let's just go ahead and enter the passcode and as you can see this will also happen right after you install NDS for iOS or GBA for iOS that when you open it you'll see that it crashes and people actually take that as it's not going to work if you set your device's date back it does work but this is a trick that I figured out here so if you go ahead and just keep tapping on it over and over just keep tapping it over and over and over now this could take anywhere from one time all the way up to like 20 30 tries there we go and it actually opens like that and once you get it up and running you might have to open the Pokemon game a couple times before it'll quit crashing but once you actually get this up and running and one game loads it will actually load the whole time and then you won't have to worry about it anymore guys so let's go ahead and see if I can get one to open here it is very tedious the first couple tries and just let you guys know that if you are on an iPhone 5 and it is really slow it's just because the phone can't run NDS for iOS that well but if you're on an iPhone 5s it actually runs at a full 60 frames per second sometimes even faster and it just runs really well so you might have to go ahead and close out open it again it does take a little while to get it running the very first time back from a reboot so let's just see if we can get this up I wanted to go there for a minute and usually this this won't happen for you guys it should only crash one time but I installed a new profile on my phone recently and it's causing a lot of issues with this for whatever reason but I guarantee this will work for you guys it shouldn't take you as long as it's taking me right now Go ahead and 
Try this a few more times. As you can see, it was loaded in the background there. All right, guys, there we go. And when it finally loads up, that took forever this first try, but it does run, as you can see right there, turning at a full 61 to 60 frames per second right now. But it runs really well. And then after this first time, you can actually close out and you should be able to open it every other try. It's just a matter of getting it to open the very first time. See, there we go, it opens a second time there. And just for further proof, we'll go ahead and open it one more time. There we go. And once it's up and running, you guys are good and you have it until the next reboot. So that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. And like I said, stay tuned for an unboxing, a full review, and every other thing to come. I'll have the links in the description below to the downloads from your phone for NDS for iOS and GBA for iOS. So until next time, guys.